So Charcoal is behind around the bend somewhere, and Chewy I saw go down here, and he was pretty smart. Like before he went down into that little trail there off, off route, he made sure he checked to make sure I was going this way, and then he disappeared. Um, and I guess that just sort of ensures for him that I'm going, he knows which direction I'm going. Which is, you know, pretty smart. And here comes Charcoal. Good boy, buddy. And so we are keeping our, our walk a bit shorter today. It is an hour walk, which is honestly on the short side for us. Like usually it's between an hour and a half to two. And yesterday it was more like three hours because we were just diddle daddling along, which is fine. Um, but yeah, so Chewy should be coming out of the woods any minute. And see, uh, Archie, I didn't even really have to call or recall him today because he's just stuck with the pack. Oh, there comes Chewy. Good boy, buddy. Hello. Uh. <laughs> good job, guys. Oh, good job, Mags. Maggie's like, ah, ha, ha, I stole it from him. Meg, you probably get so mad when she drops it for me and then I like allow another dog to grab it. <sighs> yeah, muscle always win wins out in one of those competitions, you know? The the big bodied person or dog always like muscles their way in there. Usually. Not all the time. Good job, guys! And Chewy is off in the woods, and here he comes. <laughs> and he's off in the woods again. That's the story of Chewy when he's walking with me. He's just like a flash here, a flash there to let me know he's still around and he's still with us. Good job, guys, but we are going to go this way. Good boy, Charcoal. Good boy, buddy. Yeah, so a nice short and sweet walk today, guys, because uh, so the reason we kind of left a bit later was I had, an, I had a doctor's appointment at 1.30. So I was there from 1.30 to 2.30, didn't even get called in, and I was like, and I couldn't leave the dogs at home like I didn't want to leave him for that long right so then I literally drove home so it was like an hour wait uh about 40 minutes drive in total 20 there 20 back so it was like you know a good chunk of the afternoon gone and then um yeah and then we so we got here late and um and then we got to head back because Chewy's Owner's gonna be home soon. And um, I'm supplying the uh, uh, the other sportster of the family. So besides Chewy, they have another family member that's really sporty. <laughs> and he just happens to be human. <laughs> um, but yeah, so her son is, uh, uh, is really involved in sports. So I thought I'd buy this really um, yummy vermicelli dish for him. And the thing is, like, if you know where to get it, like, the quality is so good, and the price is so right. Good job, guys. Okay, let's get going now. Good job. Yeah, so every time I do these videos, I really do try to get all the dogs um, to have as much video time and as, as uh, equal a video time as possible. But obviously, I'm only human and I can only do so much. Um, but yeah, so and that's probably why the camera moves around so much because 
I'm trying to capture all of them. <laughs> Look at Leo. Leo, what are you doing, dude? Good boy, yeah, good job, Betty. Yeah, <laughs> good boy. Okay, good boy, Charcoal. Yeah, Charcoal, you don't need it that close of up. That close up of your face, hey? Good boy, buddy. Good boy, Chewy. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're gonna go to the van and get a treat. That's right, it is that time. Okay, come on, Hugo. Hugo. Good boy, buddy. Yeah, good job. Good job. Good job, guys.